Hello, hello, and welcome back to another video. My name is Tara, and welcome on in. Be sure to like and subscribe as it super helps out the channel. Check out all of my socials down below. We're gonna be back with another reaction video because I have kept way under the radar with some of these things. Today, we are going to be reacting to the new, as people are calling it, Pokemon Breath of the Wild. <laughs> we are going to be watching um, the new Pokemon gameplay review of Pokemon Legends Arceus, which is set to release this sometime this year. So I'm super stoked about it. Is it Arceus or Arceus? Because I'm genuinely confused. Without further ado, let's get into it. Pokemon Legends Arceus. Let's go. Thanks for joining us today for a preview of the upcoming game. Pokemon Legends Arceus, releasing January 28th exclusively on the Nintendo Switch system. Today, we wanted to give you a first look at some new gameplay, so let's begin. Your adventure is set in the expansive Hisui region. In an age long ago when it was rare for people and Pokemon to live in close harmony, in time, Hisui will come to be called the Sinnoh region. Mount Coronet rises from the center of the Hisui region, surrounded Okay, I get why people are calling it Breath of the Wild Pokemon. Founded on all sides by areas with distinct environments. Each area is rich in natural features and plays host to different Pokemon ecosystems. One such area is the Obsidian Fieldlands, which you can see the trainer exploring here. The area is filled with Pokemon that call meadows and forests their home. Each area in Hisui has loads to discover and you should make sure to collect a variety of different raw materials as you explore. These materials can That's be really used cool. to craft many items that will help you on your journey, including healing items, lures, smoke bombs, a mysterious invention called the Pokeball, and more. I really like the concept of being able to craft in Pokemon and it's not just constantly you guys needing to like buy things. I just wanted to put that out there. Like I know I'm sure some of you probably agree, some of you probably disagree, but I just think that crafting in a game like Pokemon, like, it's a game changer, it really is, because I, the amount of times I will need something like a potion or an antidote, and I just don't have it, and then you have to go to, like, a city over just to go find a mart. Your Pokemon team can help you collect these materials, too. You can find all kinds of useful resources across the region just by breaking rocks, picking up plants growing in the wild grass, defeating or catching Pokemon, or knocking items out of trees. That's cool. Here we see the trainer using some of the materials they have collected to craft items in preparation for their next mission. Okay, right off the bat though, I am curious to know like if there's gonna be just like a one mind, like one track story, or if there's gonna be a bunch of side quests. It would be so cool, I guess we'll find out. <laughs> All kinds of Pokemon will appear depending on the time of the day and the weather conditions. Different species of Pokemon also have different temperaments. Some may ignore you as you approach, like this Bidoof. Some species, like Starly, are skittish and will run away if they see you approaching. There are even aggressive Pokemon that will attack you should they spot you in the wild. <laughs> just threw if an aggressive Pokemon, Pokemon spots you, or if you fail to catch it on your first sneak attempt, the Pokemon will enter an alert state. In this state, all Pokeballs you throw will simply be deflected by the Pokemon. In order to catch a Pokemon in this state, you must battle it. You can uh. initiate a battle by throwing a Pokeball containing one of your own partner Pokemon near a wild Pokemon. I love the look of the fighting! You can use items to your advantage when catching wild Pokemon. For example, throwing a berry near a Pokemon will distract it. The Pokemon will then start eating. While eating, the Pokemon is much less aware of your presence, allowing you to go in for a backstroke. When encountering aggressive wild Pokemon, you have to be careful. 
These Pokemon will not think twice about attacking you. Okay, wait, does Tangela have an evolution? Why is there a giant Tangela throwing friggin' balls at us? If you take too much damage, you will black out and lose some of the items you are carrying when you fainted. Oh, that's wild! As part of the Survey Corps, you are on a mission to catalog and research all the different Pokemon that live in the harsh environments of Hisui. Not only will you need to catch many types of Pokemon on your mission, but you will also need to observe them using certain moves or displaying certain behaviors. When you are finished in the field, you can visit Professor Laventon to hand in your survey report. This will update your Pokedex as well as increase your rank in the Survey Corps. You will also re I actually like that, that you have to hand in all of your research to update your Pokedex. I actually really like that. Receive funds from the professor, which you can use to buy items and materials to help you with your research. The vastness of the Hisui region is daunting to explore on foot. Luckily, throughout your adventure, you will encounter a number of special Pokemon that will help you get to where you need to go with grace and speed. Weird Ear helps you navigate on land faster. Hisui and Braviary, on the other hand, allows you to soar through the skies. What? Basky Legion allows you to traverse the rivers and seas throughout the Hisui region. With these Pokemon by your side, you will be able to explore the Hisui region to your heart's content. Jubilife Village is the center of operations for the Galaxy Expedition Team, a group made up of people who have come from different regions to study and live in the harsh region of Hisui. The Galaxy Team includes various corps, such as the Medical Corps and the Security Corps, as well as the Survey Corps, which carries out research on how Pokemon live. Jubilife Village will serve as the base for your surveying missions. After receiving a mission or a request, and preparing for your next excursion, You'll set out from the village to study one of the various areas of the Hisui region. After you finish your survey work, you'll return once more to prepare for your next task. That's cool! Along with the headquarters of the Galaxy Team and your own lodgings, Jubilife Village is also home to a variety of different services, such as the Clothier, the Craftworks, and the Trading Post. If any of you know me from Twitch, okay, I thrive on customization and the fact that they're introducing so much customization to this is so exciting oh my god <laughs> well, you can trade pokemon with other players you can receive a variety of different missions and requests from the inhabitants of hisu requests are small okay that's really cool it looks like there are side quests tasks that you do to help the residents of hisui while missions will advance the main story. Once you receive a mission or request, it will be added to your ARC phone. The ARC phone is a mysterious device that allows you to track your movements, mark locations on the map, and track your current missions and requests. Missions and requests vary in their objectives. Some examples of these objectives include discovering a specific Pokemon, finding a variety of different items, defeating powerful Pokemon in battle, or catching a number of one specific Pokemon for research. Please enjoy this clip of a trainer completing a request. I wonder if they're gonna have shinies in this. I'd assume so, right?
honestly, weird flex. Weird, uh... <laughs> weird statement, but, uh... It's been a long day. You can initiate a Pokemon battle by throwing one of your partner's Pokeballs at or near a wild Pokemon. If a wild Pokemon does not see you approaching, and you strike them with one of your partner's Pokeballs, this will catch them unaware and may grant you an extra chance to attack in battle. Oh, it says Battles defeated. are turn-based, and you can get your Pokemon to attack in two unique styles. Strong style. Or agile style. Using a move in the Agile style raises the user's action speed, which may make the user's next turn come sooner at the expense of reducing the move's power. Strong style moves can allow you to attack with more power, but using them may delay your Pokémon's next turn. If an enemy can withstand one of your strong style moves, prepare to be attacked multiple times in retaliation. Using Agile style moves and Strong style moves in battle causes your Pokemon's attacks to use more PP. So be careful when planning your battles. A good strategy is the key to victory. While surveying the wild, you may come across a Pokemon that appears different to the others of the same species. These are known as Alpha Pokemon and are much larger and have glowing red eyes. Alpha be careful Pokemon. when approaching them if you are not prepared. They are very aggressive and will take a powerful team and strategy to take down. Here, the player uses Agile-style Thunder Wave to paralyze their opponent, delaying their turns and making them easier to catch, while also changing move priority in an advantageous way for the player. Strategies like this are key to defeating Alpha Pokémon. Catching an Alpha Pokémon is- There's a lot more thought behind Pokémon games, I feel like, than what people think. And I'm a prime example of it, as I- I- like, I used to just honestly go into a Pokémon game and just kind of, you know, hope for the best with whatever I chose. But it wasn't until recent years that I've started strategizing. And yes, I'm more of an aggressive type trainer than I am, you know, like, use something to boost my stats. But you know what? Overall, like, I think it's going to pay off. And this game is, it's insane. It's but if you manage it, they will be a very powerful ally in your adventure. By visiting the Clothier, you can customize your character with a variety of different clothing items. As you progress through the game, you will unlock more outfits to purchase. Make sure to pick a style that speaks to you. Here is a quick look at some of the early customization options that trainers can wear. You can also customize your trainer's hairstyle, oh. hair color, and eyebrow color at the hairdresser. The Hisui region can be dangerous, but that doesn't mean you can't look your best. Oh, that's cool. During your adventure, you will have to face off against special Pokémon called Noble Pokémon. A strange phenomenon is causing the nobles to become frenzied, making them rampage. As part of the Survey Corps, you will be recruited to calm these frenzied nobles. I'm sorry, but the more we're called Survey Corp, all I can think of is, like, Attack on Titan. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but it's just the way it is. <laughs> Simply defeating them in battle will not calm them. You will have to quell their frenzy by throwing bombs made using these noble Pokemon's favorite foods. It can be difficult to hit a... Have we seen these Pokemon before, or are these exclusive to the game? Rampaging Noble with these bombs, as they will relentlessly attack you. The moment you see an opportunity, hit them with as many bombs as you can. Just like throwing a Pokeball, you need to aim carefully. 
noble Pokemon will attack the player directly, and if you take too much damage, you will black out and need to attempt the battle again. Balance throwing your bombs with dodging attacks to calm the noble Pokemon. At some point during the fight, the noble Pokemon may let down its guard. This is the time to throw your Pokeball and start a Pokemon battle. These battles are tough, and planning ahead is essential if you wish to calm the noble Pokemon down. This is cool. We hope you enjoyed the sneak peek of Pokemon Legends Arceus. Countless adventures await you in the Hisui region, and we cannot wait for you to get your hands on the game after- Okay, so, like, right off the bat, what do you guys think? I want to know what you guys think. Genuinely, I am very excited. This is thrilling, especially growing up with Pokemon. I feel like this is just gonna hit different. Like, I'm so excited. And I've been wanting an open, like, okay, the more I play open world games, the more I want them. And for something as nostalgic as this to be the next thing that's coming out, I'm very excited for it. I want to know more about the online and if it's just battling or it would be cool if they could do something more, I guess, online friendly with the game. But otherwise, I'm excited. The customization looks fantastic. None of this was the final look at all whatsoever. I'm so excited. I'm actually so excited for this. I've never wanted a Pokemon game more than this one, to be honest. You'll probably be able to find me streaming this on Twitch when it comes out. So stay tuned for that. Let me know down below who your starter Pokemon is. Any gen, just let me know down below in the comments. Be sure to like and subscribe as it really helps out the channel. Thank you so much for watching today. I genuinely appreciate it. And I hope you enjoyed seeing first looks at the gameplay as much as I did. Have a fantastic day.